In today's video, we're making our own homemade snow machine. A lot of you may have seen on the internet people using liquid nitrogen and hot water to make giant clouds or launching ping pong balls. But I had this idea of what if we did that, but with our own snow? Could we make our own snow machine? I want to try. The idea behind today's video is to use liquid nitrogen, hot water, and instant snow to make our own homemade snow machine. This is a sodium polyacrylate artificial snow, which means we can also do this year round. It's not weather dependent. I think we should do some small scale tests in here first and then take it outside and scale it way up. That's fair. I've never done this before, so I guess we could see if it works. Yeah, cool. it is going to be like a big explosion. So for your space facts of the day, this is how the lakes on Titan form. Titan's the moon of Saturn. The liquid nitrogen in the crust warmed up, exploded, and created the basins. So if it can form basins on moons, we might put a hole in this countertop. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do some science. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh, look at that. Oh, that got warm on my feet. Oof. It's just a little warm. <laughs> no, that and there was you cool. Go. Magic cloud. I that like it. Well. Yeah. Now that you've seen that this works, do you think that it'll work if we put some snow on top of it? I hope so. I hope the snow forces up and it like slowly comes down. Because the water kind of like came out, it hit my leg, so it was shooting down for sure, and it's all over the counter. I guess the next step is to go ahead and make some snow then and throw that on our small scale model. So the idea is that we're gonna have the liquid nitrogen, put that on top and then pour hot water on top of that and it's just going to throw liquid nitrogen and snow everywhere. That's the idea. <laughs> We've got our hot water. Kevin, you want to throw some snow in there? Yeah. We're going to pour the whole thing in? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it creates its own little cloud just by, oh, got a little bit more in there. Yes. All right. Three, two, one. Well, that was uneventful. It, uh, it threw it out, but it didn't throw it far. I think that the snow is insulating a little bit. I think you're right. I love how it makes it look like a cauldron for a long period of time. Normally I haven't seen the cloud coming out of the liquid nitrogen for this long and that thick. So we are getting the snow to come out of here. We're just not getting that big explosion. I'm thinking that, you know, even when we have snow in there with doing this in a bigger size with more volume, we'll be able to get more water pushed down into there to actually give us this explosion. You do three, two, one, and I'll dump, and then you dump whenever you think is appropriate. All right. I assume right after. Three, two, one. I think I saw some snow fly I think that here. did work. I think. <laughs> I think there's still some in here, but I saw some go flying. Well, there's a lot of liquid nitrogen still in here. Huh. So we didn't even get it all out. We needed more hot water than that. I got a lot of snow back I up inside that, yeah. of the uh, the jar. Huh. But yeah, it actually shot up and at least shot into the jar as we were tipping it over. We just pouring all these in there? All the snow in and then we'll just add water until we've got a good, good consistency. Yeah, however much snow we're going for. So we'll have snow and Orbeez. Snorbies. Snorbies, yeah. Snorbies. It does look like sprinkles. Okay, here goes. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one. I think, I think the Orbeez may have cooled it down too much, but this looks cool. Oh, it's cold. Ooh, oh, that's chilly. Oh. It's nice. So that was a nice cloud. It's like spookies. I don't know. This might just be missed, because they still feel pretty warm. There's snow in the handle, and snow outside. You can't make a snowball with these, unfortunately. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Is it cold? It's very snow-like. Oh, there we go. 
it is. We made it snow. <laughs> Yay. So that was cool, a little bit lackluster. We were hoping for a lot larger explosion and to actually have snow. So we're gonna try it again. Ken ends up filling some hot water to see if we can really get that snow to actually fall on us. All right, we're just gonna start pouring this in. I am going to use the golf club to like keep things stirred up so it's like powdery and not a hard clump if possible. All the way upside down. Yep. Well, here goes. I don't know how much nitrogen is still in there. Oh! <laughs> it worked. It worked. I it got me. I some snow and Orbeez leaving the container, oh. and it's everywhere. I got oh. soaked. Yeah. <laughs> you stayed safe. I backed way up. <laughs> that was probably the smart move. Oh. Uh, this is what we wanted to see is water at the bottom, which means all the nitrogen got popped out. Oh, that was awesome. You want to take a full swing? I'll back up. All right, all right. Let's get some more snow going. Woo! Snow Orbeez in the air. Snow Orbeez. I like that. I like the snow and Orbeez addition to the liquid nitrogen explosion. It's fun stuff. I yeah, dude. Four. Yeah. Right on. I feel like you know a little bit more prototyping, a little bit more uh, playing around, and oh, it's like frozen to the grass. Yard in snow. The Orbeez and the powdered snow are basically made from the same thing. They're both forms of sodium polyacrylate, and uh, one's just designed to you know, stay in a single bead, and one obviously is not. Some of these Orbeez are definitely frozen. Oh yeah. You can even see some of the thawing coming out, like in this orange one here, unfrozen and frozen by the snow, and the liquid nitrogen, of course, is what made them so cold. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to click the subscribe button down in the corner. Till then, see you next time. Summer snow angels! Oh, it's getting wet. <laughs>